Today, I'm in a very hippity hoppity mood, not just because I'm wearing bunny ears, but because Easter is just around the corner, and you guys know what that means. Today, we are doing our annual Easter fidget slime and squishmallow shopping challenge here at Learning Express, and this is actually the third year that I have done this video, and I love it. I never get sick of doing this. Learning Express always has the most fun things out for Easter. I know for a fact that they have new Easter slimes because I saw them post about it on their Instagram, and when I saw that, girl, I was like, okay, mental note, go to Learning Express at your earliest convenience because as you guys know, I'm obsessed with slimes. I'm sure they'll also have some new Easter fidgets out and Squishmallows, duh. The Easter Squishmallows last year were absolutely adorable. So I'm so excited to see what they look like this year. It's gonna be a fun time. I know you guys love watching these videos as much as I love filming them. So thank you guys so much for being here. I love you all so much. I just had to say that. I'm in a very good mood today. It's like 70 degrees outside. It smells like spring. Like I can smell that Easter is just around the corner. I know that kind of sounds crazy, but do you know what I mean? Like there's a smell in the air when the weather starts getting nicer and it's like you can just smell spring. You could smell Easter and it's honestly the best thing ever. But you guys, before we go inside, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I want to see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to come down below. Hmm. Okay, comment five things that you would love to receive in your dream Easter basket. And it doesn't have to be realistic. It could be anything. I mean, say you want like an actual bunny for Easter. You can say a bunny. Let's say you want 20 pounds of chocolate. You could say that. Like, the sky's the limit. Could be any five items. I would love to hear what you have to say. And for a bonus round, if you guys are in a creative mood, let me know. Okay, if you could create any candy for Easter, what would your candy be called? What would it taste like? What would it look like? I would love to know what you guys come up with. So let me know your thoughts about that in the comments down below if you want to. Um, but anyways, you guys, I am so excited to go inside and get shopping. So without further ado, let's do it, baby. Woo! And I'm sure we're going to have a killer haul after this. I have a feeling we're going to find 78 Easter themed items. I don't know, but let's go inside and find out. I'm debating on if I should keep these Easter ears on or not. Yeah, I'm going to. What the heck? What is the worst that could happen? Someone looks at me for an extra couple of seconds. Who the heck cares? Let's do it. Here we go, guys. What happened to that pee? It used to be magenta, and now it's not. Look at that camel. All right, guys. Let's get a basket. Look at this display. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a carrot car. What? Okay, I think we could count this as a fidget toy. Let's see if it works. This is coming home with me. What should we name the little bunny that's inside of the carrot car? Comment below. So we're gonna add him. What are these? Oh my God, they are so cute. I think they're little cake pops. It says confetti ice cream. I'm not sure. I think they're gummy actually. I'm not sure, but those are so cute. I've never seen those before. Wait, are these fidgets? Is this a candy or a fidget? Let's find out. It says scented squishy toy. <gasps> Guys, these are totally out for Easter because I don't know about you, but I would always get jelly beans in my Easter basket. So we could absolutely get these. And apparently each one is scented like something different. So let's look at the back and look at all the different flavors. Comment below which one you would want to try the most. Personally, I'm a root beer girly. I would say root beer or berry blue. So, oh wait, they're all different. Let's see if there's one with root beer. Although root beer, I don't know, that's not the prettiest jelly bean. So, hmm, which one should we do, guys? Let's do this one. Yes! Honestly, they have so many things out this year that I haven't seen before. Those jelly beans are like the best thing I've ever seen. So, wait, another scented squishy thing? Stop, you're joking. <gasps> wait, is it squishy? Yes, it is squishy. It's not scented though. I thought it was scented. But this is so cool, you guys. They literally have so much out for Easter. And yeah, see... This is why I knew I had to do this video. They do Easter so well here. So, okay. 
Let's see, what is this? Jelly Belly. Okay, so I'm not sure if these ones are scented. Oh yes, look right there at the bottom. It says scented. That is perfect. I think this is like berry blue. Not too sure what this one is. I forget. I'm sure we could find out. Oh yeah, look right there on the back. So berry blue, very cherry and green apple. I'm definitely going to go with berry blue. Actually, wait, I just thought of something. This is no budget. So technically I could get one of each. I don't know why I'm being all picky and choosy if I don't have to be. Loud, I just reminded myself of that. Um, that also means we could get multiple packs of these. I mean, do you guys think that's fair? As long as it's not the exact same array of flavors, I think it's fair. So let's do one, two, three. Yeah, they've got these little pens here too. Not really a fidget, but they are cute. And look at this little Easter bunny. So cute. I love his color. Oh, guys, I almost missed these. So these are called Cosmic Honeycombs, and they kind of look like Easter eggs. I know they're not supposed to be, but do you guys think that I should count these for the challenge? I'm conflicted. They're really fun to fidget with. I don't know, guys. Should we? Because seriously, at first glance, they do look like Easter eggs. I guess not, but I'm really tempted. If you guys disagree and you think that I should have gotten them, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to leave them there, though, because we've got a lot of stuff to look at, so we don't need to settle. What are these? They are Neato Chickadee. Doos. <laughs> I said that so awkwardly. Neato chickadee doos. No, that's cute. That's really cute. I feel like they had, I don't know if it was this exact thing out last year, but I think they had something similar. Regardless, they're adorable. So, okay, let's see. We're going to get all the different colors. We're going to do yellow. We're going to do blue and oh, pink. I have a feeling they probably just come in those three colors, but I'm just gonna double check. Those are all the colors that they come in. They are so cute. My favorite one is definitely the yellow one. It's just classic. It's fun. So, all right, let's keep going. Oh my God. There is nothing that my eight-year-old self wouldn't have done for this candy lollipop. Like I actually, I low-key want this now too. <laughs> I mean, it's just a bunch of sugar on a stick, but it's fun sugar on a stick. That chick looks delicious, okay? I'm just saying. Um, they also have bunny ones. Ooh, okay, I have an idea, you guys. If I'm able to find at least, wait, hang on, what was my guess? I guess that we would find 78 Easter items total. If that ends up being correct, then I'm going to treat myself to those little Easter lollipop things. Mm, or no, they're not really lollipops. They're kebabs. It's an Easter kebab. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Pop in a cup. So cute. Not Easter themed though. Ooh. Okay. I think we should totally count these for the challenge. It's crazy Aaron's sunshine thinking putty. And I mean, I guess you could argue and say that these are just more like spring, but I mean, come on, Easter and spring, like they kind of go hand in hand. So we're going to get spring frog, butterfly, and piglet. I think that's pretty fair. Okay, I'm trying to find more Easter, Easter, Easter. Wait, stop. These are brand new. I'm obsessed. They're kind of like slow rising egg squishies and they all have different personalities. Stop, that's hilarious. Okay, little challenge for you guys. I'm going to put them in my basket one by one and you tell me what each egg is thinking. So what's he thinking? Like, why does he look like that? What did he just see? Why is he starstruck? So that's egg number one. Here's egg number two. That one's kind of hard. He's like pretty normal. Egg number three, egg number four, egg number five, and egg number six. And also which one matches your mood right now? I would say that I am, I'm egg number three because my eyes are just like, I'm in awe because of all the Easter stuff. So that's my mood, but let me know what yours is. We're gonna take this whole carton. That's so cute. Callie would die for one of these. It's a jumbo dum-dum lollipop. And she would also die for this. 
because she loves Taylor Swift. It's a coloring book. Wait, that's actually really fun. I would kind of low-key die for that too. We are big Swifties. If you are a Swiftie, comment the hand heart emoji below. You know the one I'm talking about. I could only do half of one right now because I'm filming. Let's keep moving along. I can't believe we're still on the front display. Literally, usually we're at least at the Toy Towers by now, but they have so much stuff out for Easter. It's kind of insane. Oh my gosh, wait, here's another little egg carton full of squishies. These are so fun. I like the other ones more because they have more personality. These are really cute too though. They're all little Easter bunnies and they come in different colors. Let's see, okay, who knows me best? Out of these six, which one do you think is my favorite? Comment below. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and this is six. If you said number five, you are correct. I like the classic looking ones. So we're gonna get all of these. Let me know which one is your favorite. I have a feeling a lot of you guys will probably like the ombre ones. They are really, really pretty. We're gonna get that carton. What the heck are these? What, mystery scent inside? Dude, I'm so confused. Wait, this is so fun. There's like a Jelly Belly squishy collab going on right now and I'm living for it. Like what? So these are mystery scented apparently, but like, wouldn't you assume that the orange would be orange sherbet? I'm like really curious. Does it try to trick you? Like the orange one is actually chocolate pudding? I have no idea because if it's such a mystery, why would you have the code on the back? I'm not sure. I'm really curious. So let's try to get all of them. All right, we are going to get orange, purple, pink, blue, red, green. I don't wanna miss any of the colors, so I'm just getting a bird's eye view to see the rest. I think that's actually all of them. This is a stepping sin. Oh my God, I used to love stuff like this when I was younger. Anything that was like DIY or something you could paint or color. Oh my God, I would have loved that. Let's keep going. I think we saw, oh my gosh, never mind. I was gonna say, I think we saw everything on this side. Guys, I am not exaggerating. There is so much in this front display. Literally, I could spend a really long time looking at all these things. We've been looking at this for almost 10 minutes. That's insane. Um, is this another fidget type thing? Yes, that is so exciting. I'm trying to see if it's scented or not. I don't think so, no. So they have all of these squishy peeps. They kind of feel like super soft needos. I am living for these. Um, yeah, we're gonna get all of them. So there is purple, blue, and pink. And I feel special because I got the last pink one. So ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, they're gonna come back to me. Okay. And then, wait, dude, stop. There's so much. Look at these little eggs. Oh my God, I love when they have personalities. I love it so much. Alrighty. As you guys could see, I'm making a little lineup of all the different ones. And I need to know which one is your favorite. Personally, I would say my favorite, like if I could only choose one of these, I'd probably go with, oh God, that's hard. I don't know, that one's really cute. And so is that one and that one. I mean, they're all cute. They're all really cute. Actually, no, the yellow one. I like the yellow one. He's like really, he looks really happy. So, we're going to add those six to our basket. Um, I don't think these are for Easter, but let's see. Neato Dojis. I love Neatos, but I've never been like super obsessed with the Neato Dojis personally. I think these are, oh, okay. They're glow in the dark. Cause I was gonna say, I think I have like all of them, but these are different. They're glow in the dark. So that is fun. There's a picture on the back. You could like switch, change and rearrange. Maybe if they made the characters like a little cuter. They've just never been my favorite personally. And they're not for Easter anyway, so we're gonna leave those there. All right, what's over here? Let's see. Oh my God, the cutest little TYs. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Look at the little duck. Guys, um, fun fact on my way here, I almost hit a turkey. If I would have hit that turkey, I would not even be filming right now. I'd be crying. He came out of nowhere and it, like, I will never eat turkey again. We'll just say that, okay? Because they're so cute and I didn't realize how big they are. Like, he was big. I just wanted to rescue him. But anyway, all right, back to the challenge. Nutty squirrel poppers. Is this Eastery or no? I guess not. Because if I would count this, 
then I should absolutely count those little honeycomb things because honeycomb and bees go hand in hand. Bees in spring go hand in hand. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. We're gonna leave those there. Sidewalk chalk. I would still sit and like use sidewalk chalk. Literally judge me. I don't care. That never will not be fun to me. Oh, glowing eggs. Okay, we can get these. I don't really know what they are. Just as magically changes colors. I think they're all the same. It's like four different images on each side. So we're gonna get one of those. And after exactly 12 minutes, we are done looking at the front display. And I said the front display, not the entire store. So I hope you're comfortable. Go grab some Easter candy. If you have any, get comfy because we're gonna be here a while, so. All right, um, should we get another basket? I think we should, because this one's already full. So we're going to go to our counting corner. Whoa, wait a second. Guys, do you see what I see? Oh my God, look at all of these notes from subscribers, from you guys. That's amazing. I have not been here in a hot minute and I did not think that anyone would still be leaving me notes. Let's read just one and then I'll read the rest later. So this is, Purple Stars 02. Dear Kayla and Callie, my name is Myla. I have been watching your videos for three years. I'd like to see you do a blue versus pink food challenge. Thank you for reading my note, Myla. Oh, thank you, Myla, for leaving a note. We'll definitely have to do that because guess what? Pink and blue are actually my two favorite colors. So thank you to the subscribers who left those. Oh my gosh, more. Thank you. I was in here for you. Thank you. I was just informed that there's even more. You guys are the sweetest. So we'll have to look at the rest of that stuff in the car at the end of this video. But anyways, all right, we're gonna grab another little purple basket. We're gonna do the toy towers next, all right? Here we go, this never gets old. I think we're just gonna go down the rows, all right? So Caterpillar, that's spring, it's not Easter. This, however, this is Easter. These cute little chicks. I want chickens one day, I really do. I want like a chicken coop, I just love them. So we're gonna get him, he's a little wind up guy. I've never been a fan of these. Like, what are you? A bowling pin with eyes and ears? I don't know, but we're not gonna get that. What is this? Pearl water stress bolt. No, that's not Easter. Neither is the avocado or the snake. These, yeah, no, they're cute. They're, I always thought that these were kind of like Halloween-y. They're called party puppies, but they're in costumes. So I remember we counted those for our Halloween challenge. These octopus literally bring me back to 2021 cause that's when like fidgets exploded, as you guys know. Let's see, anything else Eastery? Oh my goodness, perfect. Little wind up bunnies. We're gonna get one of them. DNA balls, who remembers these? I can literally smell it through the bag. Well, no, I take that back. Not literally, but in my brain, I could smell it through the bag. They have such a distinct scent, you know what I mean? Pineapples, no, that's summer. What's this thing? That's a dog, I thought it was a carrot. It's a dog. Um. All right, now I'll come all the way back here. Usually this side is just a repeat of the other side for the most part but sometimes you just never know. Like, look guys, it's my lucky day. I found a hundred bucks. Just kidding. Um, wow, that actually looks really cool though. It's a wallet. That's fun. Halloween vibes. Wait, what are these? Hold on. Okay, first of all, I can get this chick. I can get this chick right here. And this caught my eye. Aloha. Oh, you could throw them around like in a swimming pool. All right, yeah. Nothing else Eastery over there though, except this chick. So, I mean, I'm glad we went over there because technically, I mean, one thing is better than nothing. <gasps> oh my gosh. More memories, the jumbo DNA ball. This was absolutely my most favorite fidget to ever grace the planet. And it's still one of my favorites. We're not going to get things simply because they're Easter colors because I would have like already had the entire store in my basket by now. And they have enough out that we don't have to do that. For other challenges where we're more desperate, yeah, we we can make exceptions, but not today. Oh, well, these are so cute. They are Squishmallow Cloud Poppets. So they're essentially like simple dimples, but plushy and Squishmallow themed. Nothing really over here. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these things. The little um, pop tube pets. Yeah, none of them are going to count though, like unless they had a chick or a bunny, can't really get any. These give off summer vibes entirely. What's this egg? Colossal growing dino egg. Yeah, it's a dino egg, not a chick egg. But anytime I see an egg, I'm like, oh, Easter, but no, not really. So 
Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm gonna flip the camera. Do you see what I see? Are you seeing this right now? Oh, um, triple G. There's me, that right. <laughs> There's so many slimes out. I can't wait to look at these. Okay, okay. Let's actually get into it. You're probably like, okay, Kayla, stop freaking out. Let's see what you're freaking out about. Okay, so they've got Valentine's Day stuff. They've got Easter. They probably have a little Christmas. And they, like, that's why I love the slime section. And even Halloween, they have some Halloween. Like, I literally need to do like a full, what would I call it? Like shopping for all the different holidays slash seasons at Learning Express. They literally have things from like every single season. It's so fun. But anyway, um, all right, we're not looking at Valentine's Day stuff today though. This is Meadow Bear Cloud Slime. Should we count this? Uh, I guess not because it's spring. It's not Easter, but oh my god, I want to. I'm not doing that though because I think we'll have enough Easter so that again, we don't need to be desperate today. Um, whipped strawberry milk memory dough. Oh my gosh, this one's amazing. Lucky Charms. This is St. Patrick's Day. I was gonna do a St. Patrick's Day shopping challenge here, but it's kind of too late. Man, I wish I would have thought of that. That would have been kind of fun because I've never done that before. And I could have bought this for that challenge, but oh well. Um, Loot Llama. No. Am I the only one? I don't know why. I've never like understood the llama trend. I know they're not really trending anymore, but like llamas, I don't know. I just never got into it. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Easter slime alert. This is frosted carrot cupcake. I am actually obsessed with, look at this, the little bunny charm and the Fimo slices. All the add-ins are just giving me life. So we're going to get that. Um, root beer float. Yum. I got that a few days ago. They've got these gooey s'more slimes. I, oh my God, it's making me crave s'mores. Just saying. What is this? This is by Crazy Aaron's. Crazy Aaron's makes slimes, which is really fun. None of them are Eastery. Wait, dumpster dive. That reminds me. So, guys, I don't know what video is going up first, but Callie and I are going to go dumpster diving at Ulta soon. Um, and I looked it up, by the way. It's totally legal where I live. So, we're going to do it. And what's the worst thing that can happen, you know? I think it'll be really fun. And I've seen other people do it before, too, so... That'll be interesting. But anyway, ice cream, you scream. Ice cream. Woo! That's summer, not Easter. Okay, gotta stay on track here. Spring chicken. Okay, listen, this can count. This is Easter. I mean, if you look at that and you have to associate it with a holiday, you would say Easter, right? Yeah, we're getting that. Oh, wait, I wanna see what the scent is. The scent is Asian pear. Woo! Sounds amazing. Spring flowers. Look, there's a bunny. That is an Easter bunny. We are getting that. This is all EXO Valentine's Day. Sour watermelon. That's summer. Peanut butter and jelly. Okay, I got this the other day, you guys. It's the best thing ever, but like, here's the issue. I'm afraid to mix it. Like, I don't want to mix it. I'm such a weirdo. Like, I buy slimes and then I don't even want to, you know, do what you're supposed to do with slimes, which is like mix them. What's this? Rainbow Days. I have this one too. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's not really Easter though, is it? I wish it was. What's this? Egg extravaganza. Look, it's a Bingsu slime. These ones need activated more often, but they are so stunning and so beautiful. And I love the Fimo slices. It really goes with the theme. Literally, I wish I had my own slime business. I would make the most fun slimes ever. Just saying, that would be a lot of fun. Okay, let's see, I think. I saw everything that I could see on that side, but there's, there's more, there's more. So let's start up here. O M double G guys, cottontail cloud slime. Stop. Look how pretty that is. I love the kawaii slimes with the glitter at the bottom because taking them out of the jar is the most satisfying thing in the entire world. So put that there. Um, did I get this one? Yeah, that's the Egg Extravaganza. That's a really fun name. <gasps> Bunny Patch. No, wait, stop. This one is actually my favorite. Look at those carrots. They look so real. And then like little flowers. Scented fresh dirt. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the graveyard slime they had up for Halloween because it was scented like dirt. And to be honest, that was actually eerie. Like that was freaky. But I mean, I liked it. 
So we're gonna get that. That one's a little bit more endearing, I guess you could say. What's this? Oh, this is fun. That's like a salsa and chip slime. I do like that because I love, love, love um, getting Mexican specifically for chips and salsa and like a good pina colada. But. Little duckling. That is so cute. It's a dope slime. I kind of forgot about dope slimes. We're going to get some. All right. Here's another dope slime for Easter. This is called Egg Hunt. And I would be okay with blending this one because imagine how gorgeous that would be. Like it would be stunning bumblebee butter this is more spring i'm tempted but we gotta try to stick with the theme so um love bunny i feel like this totally could go either way like easter or valentine's day but clearly we're gonna count it today because i think it's more for easter than valentine's day you know so it's love bunny but it has valentine's day colors you feel me so we have one more full section to look at and look at what's on top here this is what i'm talking about haunted frosting candy corn frosting i will just say right now halloween is like my favorite holiday halloween is just so much fun there's so much to do i just love it i love it so much there's no stress it's just a carefree holiday so that's why it's my favorite so this is already getting me excited quiet graveyard see i thought this was an easter slime at first glance like it's creative and fun for people that don't like the spookiness of halloween but like i don't know i think halloween should always be orange and green and black you know but anyway all right sorry just had to talk about halloween for a second because i'm actually obsessed with that holiday um bunny mallow mashup i think that they've had this out like every year it's a classic from dope slime i think they change up the packaging ever so slightly but i recognize the name it's like a classic that always comes back you know so we're gonna add this to our basket of fun we should call this our easter basket i know it's not technically an easter basket but you get it yeah okay um oh wait that's funny this is actually called easter basket this next one look at that i just want to like dig my hands in there right now i just want to do nothing but sit in the middle of the floor and play with slimes for like an hour that actually sounds like so therapeutic okay carrot cupcake this is the dope slime i think i have this it's all mixed up and hard now though so i need a new one dual whip or no dope whip that's creative that's cute like you don't get copyrighted and you're being creative like mm, love that banana split stop i wish i could get that that's so summer though tropical twist this one this has also been in stores before it's a re-release this again brings me back to like the era of 2021 i miss that year so much guys we officially found all of the easter slimes and putties and everything in between that was fun <laughs> that was so much fun we're going to check out crazy errands real quick they have so many things for like spring and summertime like look at this this is new this is like watermelon popsicle this one is snow cone and then scoop berry oh, love that and wait no this one is my favorite oh never mind it's comic book. I thought it was like 4th of July because I saw red, white, and blue. Banana split. That's also out for summer. What are these? I always like looking at these little ones. Sunbeam. My only complaint about crazy errands is that it's so hard to open them sometimes. Like, I don't want to break a nail. But I still love them. Coral reef. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Mostly out for summer though. Let's check these out really quickly. This birthstow one is so gorgeous. I need to just buy it. <laughs> like on the side. Oh, what's this? Kawaii cutie. I love that and then this is new good night cactus girl it says triple color change changes with heat now that is neat those stones change color with heat like i guess from the heat of your hands playing with it that's what i assume i don't know that's so cool but we're not gonna get any of those we already got those spring ones which was already a little bit of a stretch oh i thought these were little bunnies at first they're not but they're so cute they're like a fidget toy um they're called stretchy balloon dogs I love that. That's really, really fun. And they always have like so many fun candies too, like Dippin' Dots, Pop Rocks. Honestly, it'd be so easy to spend like five hours in here. There's so much to look at. Like every corner is colorful. Every single corner of this store has color, you know? It's not boring. Guys, okay, you know I have to get this. It is a fidget stretchy carrot, has like 
sand filling. I love, 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 love this fidget. I'm gonna sneak back here. I'm gonna leave my basket here because it's a tight squeeze to get over here. Yeah. Wacky track. This is a classic, a classic fidget. I remember I can never remember the name of it for some reason. But yeah, now it is embedded in my brain forever. Okay, nothing over here is really for Easter, except look, they have this little chick again, but we already got him. Ah, oh, PBJs. To be totally honest, I almost forgot to look at these. So there's a little lamb, which like I associate with Easter, but also, I don't know guys. Should we get it? Yes or no? It's not a bunny or a chick, but like, yeah, I don't know. I guess not tough decision but then again like i counted the donkey in our christmas challenge you know what i mean so because of that fact i'm gonna get a lamb let me know if you understand my logic hopefully you do that means i should also get this these are called jelly roos they're a little different and then these are the pbjs okay and look christmas that's what i'm saying you get like all the warm fuzzy happy feelings when you come here, because they've got every holiday. You experience it all in one trip. Okay, let's keep going. This is getting heavy. Guys, I forgot to mention, this is exciting. Okay, so we're done looking at all the fidgets, all the slimes. So now we are venturing into the land of Squishmallows. It's literally, I mean, they pretty much do actually have their own little island, I guess you could say. This is the main one. They're scattered kind of all throughout the store, specifically in the back section. I remember the very first time I came here before fidgets were even a trend, I just came here just to look at the Squishmallows. Squishmallows were so freaking popular. They had like, I think like 10 left and they were all these yellow daffodil ones. And I think that was my very first Squishmallow. Oh my God, okay. Guys, they have so many freaking Easter Squishmallows. I'm gonna need 10 baskets what this is the look at this look at this she's the cutest thing i've ever seen in my entire life like times 10 and look at him stop what the heck is he though like a fish a bird a dinosaur i i think he's like a three in one honestly <laughs> but he's really cute i think he's a chick the carrot and the overalls i think i'm just obsessed with like the overall trend in the easter squishmallows this year overalls make everything 10 times cuter just saying they've got all these hello kitty ones maybe this is an unpopular opinion i don't know i've never been a fan of character squishmallows because they're not as like original you know what i mean like i just like the ogs like this is an og the easter ones are ogs that's just me though however i will say if they ever came out with like a Coraline squishmallow collection i would need to get it <laughs> <laughs> but anyway all right guys so oh, this frog is like my favorite thing ever we could only fit a few in the current basket so we're gonna have to come back i'm gonna be sort of picky and choosy with these because i would quite literally need every basket to get every variation of every easter squishmallow so far i have three the chick the bunny and the frog i am going to bring this basket over to our counting corner okay there we go Whatever we could fit in this basket will be the extent of how many Squishmallows we get. Guys, literally stop. I didn't see this duck until now. This is Avery. All the ducks have the same name, regardless of how they're dressed up. I knew that just from, I have a lot of Squishmallows, okay? That's so cute. I love ducks. I wish I could have a pet duck and a pet turkey. I just, I love birds. <laughs> What is this? That's cute, but eh, I don't like whenever they have those like big outfits on. So I'm gonna not get those ones. Cause again, we have to be kind of picky and choosy. If we get like the smaller size ones, that means we could get more. Mm -hmm. You see my logic? Okay, Um, did we get him? No, we didn't. The bird, dinosaur, dolphin, duck, chick. No, <laughs> we need him cause he's so interesting. I feel like he's an Easter one. Yeah, little bow tie. Did we get the carrot with the overalls? I don't think we did. No, we're going to get him. Oh, that's cute. It's a little Easter Minnie Mouse and an Easter Mickey Mouse and an Easter Winnie the Pooh. Wait, this one's my favorite. Honestly, I already have like a Mickey and Minnie. So I want a Winnie the Pooh one. I'm pretty sure we could fit two more in our basket comfortably. I mean, it's already kind of full right now. How do you guys feel about the Hug Me Squishmallows? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you just eh about them? I'm kind of eh about them. 
they've never really been my favorite. I just, I like the originals of everything. That's just me. Let me stop and actually think for a second because sometimes it's hard to think about what I actually want to get while filming and trying to be entertaining. Oh, she is cute. Again, I love the overalls. If she didn't have overalls, I wouldn't be interested. But the overalls make me love her. We're gonna get that. What is the last one that we're going to get today? Decisions, decisions. There's other Squishmallows like over here too, guys. But I'm just not really looking because I think all of the Easter ones would probably be, you know, in the main section. Look, again, how fun. We got Halloween. We've got Christmas, spring, summer, everything you could possibly imagine. What's the last one gonna be? Maybe we'll try a hug me. We'll try a hug me. This one's cute, you know? Gotta switch it up sometimes, I guess. Let's add that. And now we're going to head on over to the counting corner and see how much damage we did today. Alrighty, you guys. Can you believe we're done already? That was so much fun. I'm so excited to see what our grand total is. I'm gonna stick with my guess of 78. And again, remember, if I happen to be right, I'm gonna treat myself to those little Easter kebab candy treats because they look so good. So take a good look. Okay, there's three baskets. This one is entirely full of Squishmallows. This one has three on top. It might look deceiving, you know. Um, so I wanted to just show you that. There's tons of slimes at the bottom of that one, and then we got that one. So based off of what you see, how many items do you think we found in all? Let me know down below. Oh, that car is so annoying. Why do people do that with their cars? Like, no one is looking at you and thinking that you're cool. Actually, everyone is really annoyed. Just saying. Anyway, all right, guys, let's start counting, and I'm so excited. Ah! Put your predictions down below right now, because here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. joking I was one off like literally one off and I made that guess of 78 before I even came into the store like we were in the car you guys know you were there what oh I'm so mad like no I'm happy because that was like really close but come on now I'm literally looking at my pile and I'm like maybe one thing in this pile shouldn't actually count so then I can be right and get the little candy kebab thing that I want. Like, that's literally what I'm doing right now. Is that bad? I don't know. That would have actually been the most satisfying moment of my entire existence if it would have been spot on. Should I treat myself anyway? No, I guess not. Alrighty, look at this pile. It's insanity, it's beauty in the best way. Um, so, you guys just saw me shopping for everything. What is your favorite find of the day? Mine? I love the idea of these little jelly bellies. That's my favorite thing for like fidgets. My favorite Squishmallow has got to be this little frog. No, actually this little carrot in the overalls. He's so stinking cute. No, I changed my mind again. It's the duck, okay? It's the duck. And then my favorite slime. That's like asking me my favorite child. That's also really hard. No, actually, I know. I know the answer. It's the bunny patch. And I love it because, I mean, look at that. That's so creative. And it literally smells like soil. That's not your typical, like, grape scent or strawberry or marshmallow. It's just, it's really unique. And I love, I love the presentation and the overall idea. So let me know in the comments down below what your top three favorite items were that I found or your number one or your two favorites, whatever. Just let me know your favorites down below. But I'm going to go check out now. And then apparently you guys left me lots of fan mail. Um, and 
that literally means so much to me. It's so funny that this Learning Express in Wexford, PA is like my second PO box. <laughs> Unintentionally, it just kind of happened. So we're gonna open up all that stuff in the car, but I love you guys and I'll see you in two seconds your time. Two seconds later. All right. <laughs> Oops. All right, you guys, so I am done shopping and I am back inside of the car. And as promised, I am going to be going through all of the fan mail that you guys left for me in this store, which again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for thinking of me and writing me little notes. It makes my day and you guys are just the sweetest ever. So, okay, let's see what we got. There's quite a bit. Yeah. I cannot wait. And also guys, I just wanted to let you know that I am going to be getting more of my lip size lip balms here at this Learning Express. And I thought it'd be fun if I had an exclusive limited edition flavor that is only sold at the Learning Express in Wexford, PA. I'm not going to tell you what that flavor is quite yet because to be honest, I haven't even really decided, but it's going to be an exclusive flavor that could only be found here. So if you've ever wanted to try out my lip balm brand, you should come here. Anyways, let's see what fan mail we got oh my god i wasn't expecting that stop oh my god you guys are literally freaking precious hi my name is riley and i have i think it's a cp which means it is hard for me to walk oh my gosh i just wanted to say hi oh cp stands for cerebral palsy and i hope i'm saying that correctly um we came from virginia and we watch your channel every day. That is amazing. Wow, Riley, you are such a sweetheart and I am so honored that you came out to Learning Express because you watch my videos on it and you left me this note in this photo. Girl, you came prepared. You are such an angel. Thank you so much. I love you. Then we have, let's see, it says to Kayla and Callie and it's written on a pack sun bag i love it dear kayla and kelly hi my name is cecilia i love you guys so much i drove two hours to come to the store wow i love taylor swift too love cc thank you cc and then i think there might actually be something inside of the bag oh so sweet two rain balloon bracelets they are gorgeous Thank you so much. What is this? Whoa, okay, we got some stuff in a little bag. Wow, there's so much in here. You guys are literally the best ever. All right, so this note says, oh, it's a QA. and a All right, so where are your favorite places to go? My favorite places to go. Okay, let me think about that for a second. Honestly, I love going out to eat. I really love amusement parks. That's probably the biggest one for me. And I also love going to the movies. What are your favorite drinks and where at? Ooh, okay. Um, I would say, okay, I love Smoothie King. I'm actually right next to one. Love smoothies. I also love Starbucks drinks and boba tea. What are your favorite animals? My three favorites are birds of any kind, anything from a parakeet to a duck, birds, bunnies, and I've always had a soft spot for deer. I don't know why, I just love deer. Um, and then what is your favorite number one through 100? My favorite number is 11 because I always make a wish at 11, 11. It's like magic angel number. So thank you so much for that. And then I think we have like a regular note in here too from the same person. So she says, hi, Kayla and Callie, I'm a big fan. And if you are reading this now, I just want to say that you guys are the best and you are so amazing and joyful. I also have a channel too. It's the crazy ozzy i think and i'm so happy that you are reading this and there is stuff for you in the bag oh thank you so much stop that's so cute i'm gonna save this for callie um oh my gosh what in the world ah! oh my god there's stickers and i love this bird one I love this drink one, the popsicle, be happy, the scrunchie. These are literally me. I love them. Thank you. And look, she even made a purple star bracelet. I'm going to put that on right now. And a homemade squishy that has a star on it. You are such an angel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then guys, there's more where that came from. <laughs> That's so funny. On the back, it says, do not throw this in the trash. This is not trash. Do not open this unless you are Kayla or Callie. Purple Starzo 2. And has birds. 
<laughs> and has birds open on camera stop i drove two hours today it is my eighth birthday stop this is so cute i love taylor swift this girl oh my god she's so cute hi kaylin callie i have watched your videos for two years now and i love your videos I am eight years old and my birthday is January 31st, 2016. My name is Lila. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I think there's like one more thing in here. I have a bird named Rocky. He is a cockatiel. How do I send you family? What address do I send it to? Wait, that's so cute. I love that you also have a pet bird just like me i have like nine pet birds but still by the way thank you for wanting to send me fan mail my po box is in the description box of all my videos so you can send it to that address how many fidgets do you have girl like 2000 it's kind of crazy and then she drew a picture of either herself or me with the bird i think it's supposed to be herself with her cockatiel that's so cute thank you lila you are just the cutest ever all right and then we have another note it says i love your videos and i love the target shopping challenges i really want to be in a video my name is grace and i'm 10 years old i love you i love you too grace thank you Alrighty, then what is this oh my goodness ah, so much fun Dear Kayla, I love you so much, and I had to see you at the Learning Express in Wexford. Love, Belle. Thank you, Belle. And then she drew a little illustration of me at Target. That's so awesome. What is this? Ooh, you guys really spoiled me rotten. This is literally like a two-in-one. It's a no-budget shopping challenge and a fan mail haul. I love it. Um, so in here we have some little rain balloon bracelet creations and some wacky track pieces and then a note that says dear Kayla and Callie I love your videos so much my name is Chloe and I make bracelets that is so cool thank you Chloe and thank you for making us some bracelets you are such a sweetheart dear Kayla and Callie my name is Maisie I've been watching your videos for three years that's a long time thank you for being such a devoted member of the star fam Maisie all right guys and then I think we have two more in here um, what is this? Let's see. It is a drawing, a very detailed drawing. Fidget slime, ice cream. Oh, they drew some of my favorite things. And then, okay, the very last thing, you guys, is this right here. It's wrapped up in a bracelet, and I think that's supposed to be... Is that a carrot? I don't know. That little thing right there. Hi, Kayla and Callie. My name is Addie and I'm 10 years old. I was here a few days after you posted your fidget, slime, and squishmallow Valentine's video. I'm your biggest fan. I thank you for spending time on videos for our enjoyment. Here are a few video ideas. Ooh. Mint chip versus Neapolitan at Learning Express. I literally love that idea. Or better yet, like Neapolitan, which is three colors, versus Rainbow Sherbert, which is three colors. Ah, just saying. If we haven't already done that, I feel like we might have. I don't know. Um, ocean versus land at Target. Spend overnight at Target if you're allowed. <gasps> We'd probably get in trouble, but that'd be so much fun. Um, I live 40 minutes from here, and I was so happy to come here. This is my first time at Learning Express. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Addie, for your note. You are so sweet and i am so happy that you decided to check out the store because of my videos that's awesome also one more thing you guys i am planning to have a meet and greet here at the learning express in Wexford, pa very very soon so make sure you have your eyes and ears open for the details of that callie and i do a meet and greet here literally every single year and i think we're going to plan to do one in may but anyways that is all for today's video if you guys liked it then please don't forget to give it a big giant thumbs up i'm gonna go get a smoothie now from smoothie king because i am starving like i did a lot of shopping and i'm hungry so i love you guys so so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye Mwah.